Zeke the Antique Freak here, YouTube channel. Uh, we're changing a model A 1929 to uh, 12 volt. So we've uh, overcome a few small obstacles and uh, clearance and stuff. And we're using a Delco 10 SI alternator. I found a pulley off of an old generator that is a B width to match the other pulleys on the engine. Um, so with a B43 belt, we'll get a little more into that later. I've got clearance for the uh, for the water hose. Everything's good there. Uh, you'll see a little bit of uh, green tape on the fan. That's just so when I'm going to be running this that you can see the fan. The things are uh, deadly. Uh, they're invisible when they're turning. So I'll get that out of the way. So I'll show you the little bracket. I'll try and get down here. Get focused. Uh, so I built a little bracket there. The original generator comes with wings on it, so that's all thought out for you. In this case here, the 10SI has, uh, uh, has different mounting. So the bottom bolt is a uh, half inch, top one three eighths into the alternator. So I've drilled those two pieces, the side pieces, at the same time so that they're exactly, perfectly lined up. And I put that little bridge across the two wings there just to uh, stiffen it, give it strength, and it'll That'll help in that department. So, like I say, we've got. Uh, I was able to put a longer belt on a B43. Uh, the idea of that was to get more traction on the pulley here. With a B40 belt, everything was fine, but there was uh, with the 43. There's just a little bit more grip on the uh, on the pulley there, which the extra loading is going to be important to this. Uh, they call these trouble lights for a reason. A uh, unique feature, the swing array radiator. Water pump bearing. This has got the standard bearing in it. Uh, how do I do to do it again? I would uh, get this here, the Torrington uh, style bearing. I'll leave the numbers up here for you for a minute. Now that's, I believe it to be a, a sturdier bearing would take the extra loading of the extra amp alternator on there and uh, help out there. So this still has the original bearing in it. It might be fine. It's been rebuilt and it's all new. So uh, The bracket, I was very lucky about a 1966 uh, Pontiac with a V8 engine had this uh, this bracket and it just worked out beautifully on here. So I've moved. Uh, here we go with the trouble light again. So I've moved this little mounting that used to be on the on the generator, moved it back one hole, and that uh, puts this into the uh, middle of the adjustment. Works out well. Give you another little shot of the bracket here. Just very simple stuff. When it comes to the actual wiring of the alternator, get my trusty light around here again. Uh, you'll notice a one and a two on these two terminals here, so that, that's important. Now this is uh, the voltage regulator that's out of the inside, and number two terminal gets uh, gets battery voltage. So that terminal with the little harness plug, it can come right around back to here. This one either needs a resistor, the terminal one, or it has to go through a generator light. It calls for two to six ohms, and you can use any bulb that measures, uh, measures that for an idiot light to, uh, to cut that down for voltage for that, and that one would be switched with the uh, ignition switch. On the starter, I'm contemplating uh, the Model A, of course. Well, I'm having so much fun with this light. <laughs> the Model A, of course, has the uh, the button on the floor that you press here. I'm contemplating taking this off and uh, soldering a bolt that I can use a regular start solenoid since we're going to have a key switch with it'll have the start feature in it anyway, and then have a solenoid on and then run from the solenoid to uh, to a bolt that's been soldered onto the big post. 
Not sure if that's ever been done or if it'll be successful, but it's uh, it's worth a try. Now the when I made the bracket, I left some room for a washer in there so that I could adjust the alternator back and forth because it's critical that you get the uh, the belts lining up uh, in all in sync there with the, with the face of the pulleys and where the belt runs. Very critical for uh, belt wear and uh, and that stuff. Anyway, that's about it. We got lucky with the uh, with the bracket. This was a really nice find, and the rest was just stick built out of uh, scraps that we had in the shop here.